Good afternoon. Today is June 14, 2017. Uh, we'll be exploring taking an LFO and lagging it through an envelope, and then take, taking that envelope and lagging that envelope through another envelope. So we begin with an init patch, which is just a eight-foot sawtooth. We'll start right away by setting up some utility here. We'll set up some uh, release on the amplitude envelope. I'm going to set the LFO up. I'm going to go to LFO 2 because I have it could be using LFO 1 for something else. Sample and hold, let's say a speed of about 20 for starters. I'm going to set up the envelope, the first envelope, which is going to be lagged. I'm going to go to looped, all, loop all, set the attack level to zero, sustain level to zero, sustain to, to zero. So we'll start on doing the stuff for part one. So we're going to say LFO2 controls envelope three sustain minus 64. Now one thing we, I'm going to start applying this to is going to be the filter cutoff. So we'll start with a key track of 100% and a resonance of say 42. Keep the filter reasonably open. Let's start at about 71. Now right now I haven't signed anything so you just get a very muted uh, sawtooth. So on the filter envelope itself I'm going to say mod source equals envelope 3 mod amount, let's try minus 52 or so. off up. Now what's the effect of the LFO speed? Now watch the effect of the decay on envelope 3. Right now I have it set, set to default. I'm going to go up to about 82 onto K1 and 82 onto K2. And take LFO2 down for now. I'm going to set a filter envelope. And say about 96 for decay and a release of say 82. And bring this back down to 71. Cut off and bring the envelope amount up to 28. Now, now that I have a filter envelope, I'm going to use that for some items here. For starters, I'm going to have the filter envelope control LFO2 speed. I'm going to say quite a bit, plus 48. So listen to what this does. mod amount up. Also going to use filter envelope to control 
envelope 3 decay so it's going to lag higher frequencies more. Say about 38. Now let's stereotize it. Before I do that, I'm going to set LFO1 to a speed of 5. I'm going to bring velocity down to 0. And on modifier 1, I'm going to say modifier 1, so it's undefined, XOR. LFO1, oops, right there, go to mod slot 1, and set pitch to modifier 1, plus 12, go to my oscillator common page, set unisono to 3, go to my filter page, Set pan to unisono V. Minus 64. Now that's a 24 dB filter. It can make it more Oberheimy. Let's make it a 12 dB. I should have actually turned on the uh, wind filter because I'm hearing a lot of breath noise, but nothing I can do about it right now. This is live. Okay, so we got envelope 3, which is being lagged by LFO2, which is LFO2 is controlling the envelope uh, sustain level. We have the filter controlling the LFO2 speed. We have the filter controlling how much on envelope 3, so that the K is being affected by the filter amount. Now, I want to lag this envelope for envelope 4. So I go to envelope 4, loophole. Uh... Yeah, it's the uh, attack level of zero, sustain of zero, sustain of zero. We write a pseudo modifier or whatever, modulation. Say envelope three controls, envelope four, sustain level. Set that to minus 64. Go back to uh, envelope 4. I'm going to set the decay to about 48 or so and do the same to the other side. The release is fine as it is. And then go on an open slot. Envelope 4 is going to control resonance of filter 1. And it's going to be a negative amount. Now that's some things you can experiment with. Um, that's a double lagged uh, LFO, I guess, in a sense, because the LFO 2 controls envelope 3, and envelope 3 controls envelope 4, but because uh, envelope 3 is controlled by LFO, in a sense, it's actually creating all the modifiers. Here's some samples. This one's straight wavetable. No name. 
no filter. Totally bypassed. And this one, which is sort of a symphonic alien, I guess. A bit of aftertouch. Oh, looks like I have a lag processed uh, mod wheel. And finally, uh, TE organism, which is uh, an organ patch, which is totally out of the no filter. But the lags control the amount of sine waves which are generated, of which there's four. And that ends a fairly long tutorial. Let's put it on YouTube.